They're fascinating. I have fallen in love with goats, and I can't imagine not having them. This is our third herd. It's, it, we, we just have to have goats. We sit outside and watch goat TV in the evening because it's just entertaining. These goats have a lot of spunk and personality. They're social, outgoing, and a little mischievous. But at where pigs can fly farm in Queen Anne's County, anything is possible. It dawned on me within the first three days of working with goats that a herd of goats is like high school. You've got the weird kids, you've got the popular kids, you've got the pretty girls, you know, and they interact that way. With a herd of 27 goats, farmers Brian Knox and Jennifer Vaccaro have their hands full. But these furry and affectionate animals aren't the only ones seeking their attention. Every day we have a lot of mouths to feed. We have to go around and make sure everybody has food and water. We move our broiler tractors every day so that the, the broiler chickens get fresh pasture. Raising their animals on a rotational pasture system means a happier and healthier flock. For Brian and Jennifer, the heart of farming lies in giving back to the earth. The cornerstone of our farm is healthy soil. So these animals that we have out on pasture are helping to build a deep, healthy underground ecosystem. And in that way, our farm is an extension of the conservation work that we've been doing for years with the goats and forest ecology. It's just in a different format. In 2009, Brian started Eco Goats. And with help from his four-legged landscaping crew, they control the spread of invasive species and unwanted vegetation, the natural way. So goats are a great tool for reducing biomass. They'll eat leaves, small stems, uh, of a very wide range of species. So the mindset is we want to be as environmentally friendly as we can and to also reclaim this to nice, diverse native vegetation. Duty calls. Today, this herd is off to Kent County to munch down on a half-acre residential lot. We have to be careful where you put them because they'll, they'll eat the good stuff right along with the, with the undesirables. But they do a really good job on a place like this where you're really overrun with invasive species. But before the goats can be let out to graze, Brian and Jennifer will need to put up an electric fence to keep the goats from wandering off the project site. This is a temporary electric net fence. It's in grass like this, it really is instant fence. So we basically just stretch it out, stick it in the ground. It gets a solar battery energizer on it and it keeps the goats where we want them and keeps our urban suburban predators out. Before taking on any job, Brian has to first determine if it's goat worthy. Not every project requires the entire herd and sometimes machines are a better solution. I mean, goats are not a, a one and done or the perfect tool for the job. They're a wonderful tool to have in the toolbox. And, and we talk people out of goats probably more times than we say, yeah, this is a great place for goats. Lots of smaller jobs, we can hand cut faster, cheaper than we can with the goats. Meanwhile, it looks like some of the employees are getting a little impatient. The best place for a goat is where you don't have anything you want to save. They're very much like, we, well, we refer to them as herbicide with legs because they will eat just about everything. And what they eat might surprise you. Goats have quite a diverse palate. Goats love poison ivy. They love roses. They've got very nimble lips and, and they work around the thorns and doesn't seem to bother them a bit. In addition to removing weeds in an environmentally friendly manner, Goats also help reduce the seed bank. Goats are good at grinding up the seeds. They're not, unlike cows or birds, they're not just fertilizing the seed and putting it in the ground. They grind them up and, and you get very little viability through a goat. While this job looks a little overwhelming at the moment, it's only a matter of days before these four-legged landscapers clean it up. Typically, a goat is going to eat about 25% of its body weight a day in green material. So on average, this herd's gonna add about 100 pounds each. Once the goats have completed their assignment, everything under eight feet tall will be leafless, at least for a while. A lot of people will contact us and 
kind of have this notion that the goats are going to be a magic bullet and the goats are going to come and it's going to be done. It took a lot of years to get it like this. It takes a lot of years and a lot of effort to keep it. And if it does grow back, this crew is always looking for more work. 